Imagine, if you will, a zone. A zone where animals can talk to humans. Submitted for your amazement, the pet psychic, as we enter the animal zone. Today we're at the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation in Santa Paula, California with our pet psychic, Laura and, and Gemma and Dane. <laughs> and it's so great to have you all here. And, and this little guy is really full of energy, huh? Yeah, so Gemma is a search dog in training. She's in the beginning of her training. And we're gonna ask her like what she thinks about her training and where she came from, right? Right, I, I don't think they really know her history yeah. a bit. Uh, and she seems like she's one of those perfect search dogs. She's got all that energy. All that energy, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> so maybe you can okay. tune into that energy. Okay, so Gemma, listen, listen. When you came here, you started to learn about how to be more perfect, and you've been learning how to find people. Oh, that's so cool. You say sometimes when you bark at them, you know where they are. I know, but you gotta look right at them because when you look right at them, then it tells your people where they are. Because if you just bark all over the place, they don't know. So you gotta look right at the people and bark. Okay, and direct your bark right at where, they, where you find them. Okay, that's super important. You had a family when you were littler? You had a family? Oh, what was your family like? There were kids, and you ran them over? I kind of believe that. You went under their legs? Mm, I could see you doing that. <laughs> you say they loved you? They miss you? So then what happened? How did you get to the shelter? If your people missed you, they didn't drop you off at the shelter? You got lost? Oh, bummer. You were running really fast and you got picked up in a car? Oh, did you get out of your yard? Is that what happened? and a car picked you up and they tried to keep you for a while they were like enough of this dog you might have had too much energy for them i think maybe an angel helped you get connected with the search dogs huh so you could have a really cool job do you know what your cool job is now this is the best place ever because when you're here you have a mission what's your mission do you know to save people, oh, that's a really cool mission. And you're like the best at it. I think if you keep paying attention to your trainers, you will be the best at it. But you have to really pay attention to what, that they, what they're teaching you, okay? So when you feel yourself going like super hyper, that's when you need to kind of center yourself and focus and listen to your trainers and to their words and their minds and their hand signals, okay? So you can focus better. Sometimes you want to chase the leaves. I know, I think that's a puppy issue. <laughs> I think you'll grow out of that. Well, Jim has found but the perfect place. Yeah, she, she has. Yeah. And I'm excited that you like to work and that you're excited. So this is really important. I want you to remember this. When you find somebody, you look straight at them and you bark, okay? That's the most important thing, okay? Because if you're gonna save people, you gotta give your handlers the right cues and that's your job to know the right cue, okay? To look right at who you find and bark. You gotta use your nose, okay? So then, then you don't have to look at it, you have to just point your nose to where the smell's coming from, okay? Point your nose there then. You're gonna save a lot of people, good. Uh, I mean, it's pretty awesome, she's gonna be really good at it. Yeah, you're gonna be great. Right? I mean, she's like, thinks it's a cool, <laughs> cool game. Well, that's great. Well, Laura, thank you so much. Oh, As my always, pleasure. very impressive. Super fun. And thank you, Gemma and Dean. And uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, there'll be more Animal Zone right here. Stay tuned.